Hello lovely stars, this is Angel from Star Woman Artistry's Terran Oracle. Thank you for stopping by, I'm so glad you're here to watch my video and I'm here to do the reading for August 1st to the 15th for the zodiac sign Gemini. So before I begin I just want to remind you that this is general collective energy, it may or may not resonate. If it does, great, if it doesn't then just leave it, you know it's um, not your message this month. But check out all the other YouTube readers on YouTube. You know, you might find someone who has a good message for you this month. You never know, okay? So let's begin here, Gemini. And stay tuned for the oracle reading at the end. So we have the Two of Swords. The Temperance Reversed. The Queen of Pentacles reversed, Ace of Swords reversed, the Two of Wands reversed, the World and your Outcome, and then the Knight of Swords reversed. Emotionally, um, I think you're really making a decision on something here. Okay, you see your heart's kind of hung up in the, in the sky there. You know, you, you know you have to make a decision about something emotionally, um, but you're not sure, okay? You're kind of like really not really um, having your heart in your chest right now, I feel. Like your heart is kind of just like not really involved in this decision that you're going to make. But it's affecting you emotionally, whatever this decision is, okay? I feel you really need to heal your heart space here, Gemini. And really just feel connected to the divine energy. Especially if you're making a decision around your children. And, a, you know, maybe I just really feel there's a pregnancy involved here. But don't quote me on that. I don't like um, predicting pregnancies. But you might be making a decision about a pregnancy, okay? And it's really got you weighing down. But whatever this is, you know, you it has to do with your heart. But you're trying to be logical. And it's really, you know very very tricky for you and very very um makes you feel unsure and stagnant okay you really are hesitating to make whatever decision this is okay so that's where you're at emotionally here just really in a very stuck place okay you you want to cut things out but you're not sure what you want to do okay you want to end something but you're not sure what it is exactly okay and I also feel this could be a career as well, like maybe making a decision to move on from a job. You're not really feeling very um, balanced right now. There might be things um, that are really affecting you, you know, emotionally, you know, so you're f kind of off kilter. You know, you're dealing with a lot of uh, financial um, overspending. You know, there's more bills to pay than what's coming in is what I feel, okay? So it's kind of got you like just off kilter and unsure where to go next. You know, you just don't feel balanced in your life. And normally you are. Normally you are in control of your financial situations. But right now you're just not feeling that. Okay. In your thoughts, you're the queen of wands reverse. So you're not really having any good positive thoughts right now you know you're really dealing with a lot of uh, negative emotions and you might be feeling resentments towards your family members your friends you know like it, it's just really um, not you know normally you're pretty easy going you know you know you work hard you know you, you're working for your money you're working for your to maintain a household but right now you might be feeling burdened by that because of the financial issues you're dealing with okay you might be dealing with a situation that is not in your favor so you're just not feeling um your normal in control self you really feel overburdened by this okay and you could be leaving a relationship is the other situation i feel is that you're making a decision to end a relationship and you know this is going to put you into financial hardship if you do that so but you're not really feeling the connection with it anymore you don't really want to put any more effort into this um, home life situation here Gemini if it's going to not serve you and not deserve you okay so you're really really dealing with that you're really just it's weighing heavy in your thoughts and your emotions you know like these are just really heavy cards and it's almost like they're mirroring each other if you look at them um, 
from this situation it's like they're mirroring each other so whatever this situation is you and your partner are pretty much mirroring each other in this okay so your thoughts and your emotions mirror each other and i feel that both you and your partner are dealing with some really heavy issues and a lot of issues um not only pertaining to yourselves but per you know could be from growing up childhood traumas it could be um past relationships you know that are really in interfering in this love that you have for each other okay because you guys aren't focused on that love that love's kind of just hanging out here on the side you know and, and you've got all these other things coming at you you know and it could be just dealing and healing your own traumas okay so that that could be what's holding you back here okay gemini but with your action card you know usually the ace of wands is cutting things out and uh, that no longer serve you I, I think you're hesitating on that you're really um unsure what action you want to take right now you're you're not wanting to cut things out usually this is like a quick ending and moving on and moving into something better but you're really hesitating to do that right now because i think you're really reevaluating with the two with the two of swords here you're really reevaluating everything you really don't want to make a decision that's really going to be overly drastic okay especially if you're in a committed relationship or something like that you're just really um hesitating on making a decision is what i feel here okay so with the two wands again you know usually the two wands is thinking about where what direction to go uh, what action to take you know and it being reversed you're not doing that you're not even contemplating um considering what direction or action to take at this point in time spiritually i don't even feel like you are really relying on your connection to the universe to help you in this situation i don't think you're manifesting anything that would help you in this situation here gemini okay so you know maybe it's time to to call upon your your spirit guides you know connect to your um higher self right and to help you in this situation to help guide you through it all right but your outcome is the world so whatever trials and tribulations you're dealing with whatever negative energy you're you you're dealing with here whatever you know is holding you back having you set back you know just really troubling you financially uh, romantically you know love you know in the heart whatever it is um you have the world okay so there's going to be movement out of this you're either you're going to go on a journey maybe a journey of the soul or you're going to take a trip you know you're going to rekindle the love you know you know like it, it's just really you're going to move out of this situation okay you're going to make movement out of it um and you're going to feel um 110 percent better you know once you make the right decision for yourself okay but you know that you are able to generate pentacles you're able to have a happy loving home you're able to have a happy be able to have a happy loving relationship if you're in a committed relationship you know even if you're single gemini you might meet somebody all right um that's going to bring you um good abundance and love and all that good stuff you know but you got the world here in your outcome so you know they're going to work out just fine so you don't need to worry the universe does have your back here gemini even though you don't feel like you have that connection all right and something is going to be revealed to you all right you're going to have something be revealed there's going to be a revelation here that's going to change things for the more positive all right and in your wish card you have the knight of swords so in the wish wishing you're going to be more nurturing you i think um the knight of swords is normally quite cold quite uh logical quite stagnant you know like he he's quick to cut things out um when he needs to you know but he's also very logical mind very critical um analytical all that stuff you know and in your wish card i think you're wishing that you're not so much of that that you are going to be more nurturing to yourself more loving to yourself you know just being able to see this um, situation in a whole different perspective you know i think that's what you're really wishing and manifesting for yourself here so let's move on to uh, the oracle reading friendship make a date for a play day with one or more friends you know and i maybe that's what you're feeling is you're feeling a lack of connection to your friends you know rely on your friends in whatever situation you need to you know and reconnect with your friends you, you know people are doing social distancing uh outings with friends and stuff like that in a safe uh environment you know outdoors and stuff like that uh, meeting their friends out in uh for picnics and things so you know 
maybe that's what you need to do connect with your friends and then simplicity so i feel that you know you really need to simplify your life really simplify your financial situation simplify your home life you know maybe you got too much on the go and it's really stressing you out you know and you're you're just feeling like a chicken with its head cut off okay so you're just really uh, whatever this situation is it's going to be a positive outcome just know that okay so flow go with the flow as water trickles down a stream do not hurry so take your time and flow through this this whole process is going to work itself out okay family is everything always make sure you acknowledge this so you know always acknowledge your family not just your you know your immediate family you know but your extended family as well okay you're all your blood relatives so 11 11 numbers and doubles synchronicity and two don't hold back your love now love life is meant for you Okay, so you might be dealing with a twin flame relationship here because that's what 1111 represents. But this is also 1111 is also your connection to the angels. It's also letting you know that you have that good life coming, that good abundance. You know, um, it's the four of wands in the tarot. You know, just know that that is coming for you. Wishing well to make some wish magic, cast this spell, throw pennies into the wishing well. So make a wish. You got the wish card. So whatever you're wishing, whatever you're manifesting is going to come true here, Gemini. So always wish something positive because that's the positive energy that's going to come back to you. All right. Never, never make a negative wish because you don't want that bad juju. Okay. So that's it for uh, this reading here, Gemini. Thank you for stopping by. I look forward to reading for you again. I really feel blessed that you've uh, stopped by to watch my video. Remember to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell. I hope you have a wonderful August. Bye now.